Yo, what's good, gang? It's the dope guy, and I am back with another video, big dog. I hope you guys are all doing well out there, because I'm doing all right. And here I am spending the block with content for y'all, Melma. So, today's video is a Razzy, Erasmus, emotional story about my Gazzoli, my Pimpy. Yo, this is about Springboks rugby team, man. You know what I'm saying? I guess it's one of the parts from the documentary, Chasing the Sun, bro. You know what I'm saying? Y'all told me to tap in with it. I thought it was a whole video, but it's breaking down into parts, it seems like. But yo, this is the first video I've seen, so I'm gonna check it out for y'all, man. You know, I got you. I keep spending a block for my big dogs out there, so much love, respect to all y'all out there. But before we get into this video, subscribe to the dope guy that way to get notifications every time I upload. And if I'm right here on Snapchat or Instagram, right across the bottom of the screen. So with that being said, I'm not gonna hold y'all much longer because y'all already know this go, big dog. Let's get into it. Yes, sir. Off the tackle from Wilson. Beautiful hands from Now, I did do a, a, a compilation of the spring box and he was in it, man. No, shout out to him, Cheslin Kobe. It was someone, it was like four people. I forgot, bro. But I know his name and Cheslin Kobe's name stick out for real, for real. But yo, the video was fire, man. Y'all tap in with that, man. Check that out, bro. Look at him popping the champagne going crazy, my God. It's fire, bro. God. That's the first try that we've ever scored in a World Cup final and scored by possibly the player that has come from the most hopeless situation. Yeah. In the history of Spring Rugby. Right? Well, that must be uh, Razzie. No, I think I, it's a coach. Yeah, he, he was playing. I think, obviously, you know, he was playing for South Africa. And I think if you talk to him, he, I don't know, do you know the story about the jerseys? Of, uh, uh, this is how you know. The, the genuine love and care for your players is real, bro. When the coach, I guess he's the coach, starts getting emotional about one of his players, you know what I'm saying? That's how you know the love and the relationship was is genuine, it's real, you know what I'm saying? That's how I feel with people in my life. If if, if, I, if I'm in a situation explaining about a person I love and care for, if I catch myself getting emotional, it's genuine, bro. I, I'm a genuine person, bro. And what's sad about today's world is that a lot of people aren't, I have to realize that people aren't as genuine as I am. I have to really learn with that and just accept it for what it is. People are not genuine, bro. But he's showing that he's truly, he truly cares for his players. You know what I'm saying? The team, Springboks, you know what I'm saying? One of the most successful rugby teams in sports, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to them, man. All right. You can feel that emotion, you know what I'm saying? You you can relate. On the back of your numbers, you had to have uh, family members, you know, you can give him photos of family members. Oh, family members. Oh, I didn't see that. I didn't know that. <laughs> he only had photos of himself. Oh, damn. <laughs> damn. Only photos of himself, bro. I, I gotta know what's the what's the backstory to that. Because <laughs> he didn't have anybody else. Damn. And, uh, so why are you doing this? He says he's the number. His brother died. You know, his mom died there. His father, he doesn't have a photo. Damn. So, he doesn't play for one team. He's just got massive heart. That's Damn. Yeah, I know it was a short video, but yo, bro. He only had a photo of himself because brother and parents died. You know what I'm saying? That's something I can truly, truly relate to. You know what I'm saying? My mom passed away. 2010 my older brother he died in 2006 i was 16 years old and um, you know what i'm saying i'm someone a lot of people like a lot of people who don't know i've lost a lot of close loved ones in my life you know what i'm saying grandma sibling mom all that stuff i still like have my sister thank god for her and my niece and nephew whatever but um, you know it's tough you know what i'm saying i lost a lot of close loved ones in my life and sometimes i don't know how i push through and go on by life a lot of people ask me that like how do you keep going i said Quoting my therapist, my shout out to my former therapist, 
Life keeps on life and bro. Life keeps on life and you gotta go through it to get through it. That's how I look at life. That's like a mantra of mine forever. Life keeps on life and you gotta go through it to get through it. So that's how I live by and shout out to, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to him, bro, for still playing with heart. You know what I'm saying? My pimpy, that's his name. Shout out to him for playing, playing with heart. Losing his parents, losing his brother, probably was only sibling. It's tough, man. It's really, really tough. I understand, man. I truly relate to that. Man, you know, that's how you know the coach. That was heartfelt. He started crying. We started talking about him. So, yo, shout out to them. Man, spring box, everything I got going on, bro. Shout out to them. Much love, respect. It's, it's tough. It's real. It's real. I enjoyed that a lot. I wish it was a full video of this documentary. I think it's broken up into parts, but y'all let me know in the comments. But yo, hope you enjoyed the reaction to this video. If you enjoyed my reaction, please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to the Dog Guy Big Dog. Hit the notification bell whenever I upload. Follow me right here on Snapchat and Instagram right across the bottom screen. Any other videos you may check out, please comment under this video and my other videos and leave likes and comments on all my videos to help grow the channel. Help with the algorithm for sure. Any more videos you may check out, may leave a comment in the comment section below. And I got y'all for spin the block. But yeah, Mr. Dog Guy, I am out. Yes, sir.